Hello and welcome to a 3D ROS tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to use the bridge tool in Autodesk Maya. First of all, you want to create your object. In this case, I'm going to create a cylinder. So go up to Create, Polygon, Cylinder. And I'm going to scale mine up because I've got my units in meters. So now we've got the cylinder, we'll want the second cylinder to bridge it over to. So we're going to hold Ctrl and press D and then move the object up and we now have a duplicate. So first of all I'm going to show you how to do a straight bridge and then I'm going to show you how to do a curved bridge. So first of all you want to select both the objects you want to bridge together and you need to combine them. So go over to Mesh and Combine. This makes the objects one object. Now you want to go to Face Mode. Select the faces, so I'm going to drag select and then hold control and select the faces that are selected that you don't want to bridge. And then go over edit mesh and you want to go to bridge, but click the square icon which allow you to customize the settings. And I'm just going to reset my settings because I've already had the smooth path on. So now you should have linear path. And because it's not curved, we don't really want any division, so we just want a, a straight bridge. So we're going to go to zero and hit apply. And now we've got a bridge together. So next, I'm going to show you how to do a curved bridge. Uh, you'd use this for things like pipes and railings. So I'm going to move this to the side and create another cylinder. Scale it up, duplicate it, control D and move it, hit E to rotate and now I want to rotate 90 degrees. You can either hold J and it will do snapping rotation. If that doesn't work go to your tool settings and go to step snap and then you type in the snap amount here. If you don't have tool sets you need to go to window settings preferences tool settings or you can click these icons up here or you can type in it manually on the boxes to the side so once you have it rotated 90 degrees you want to move it to the correct position you don't want it too far up and you don't want it too close to the edge or you'll get overlapping in this part here so I'm just going to move that back a bit and move it up a bit. So now, again, hold shift and select both of the objects. Go to mesh, combine, go to face mode, select both of the faces, and hold control and deselect the faces you don't want. Now go to edit mesh, bridge on the cube, and then now you want smooth path curve. And here you define the amount of divisions you want and this will this will change the smoothness of the curve and the smoothing angle is to make the geometry look smooth. I usually do the how much I'm turning by, so if I turn by ninety degrees I'll turn, I'll use a smooth angle of ninety degrees. Twist just twists the bridge and taper offsets it. So we're going to just do say five subdivisions here and hit apply and now we have a nice bridge on our mesh and you might get some overlapping here uh, so just undo that select faces and select this object here and just move it up a bit and then do the same again select the two faces and go to edit mesh bridge hit bridge and that's slightly better but still want to move it up a bit just move it up a bit more again face mode select the faces mesh bridge or to repeat last action hit the G key so there we have our bridge Thank you for watching and if you found this video helpful hit the like button and 
for more tutorials in Autodesk Maya and other programs, please subscribe. Thank you.